Hi guys, in this video, we will be installing SSM for our Windows Server. I just launched a Windows Server. Here you can see the platform as Windows. So when we go to connect and go to session manager, it will give this error which is saying we are not able to connect you. So let's install SSM on it. For first, we need to go to IAM. We'll create a role first and attach it to our instance. Go into role, create role, EC2 permissions, and here two policies are required. First one is the core policy, which is Amazon SSM managed instance code and EC2 full access. Here it is. Next tags, review, give it a name, and anything here if you want and create row that's it now you can close this tab go to ic2 instances select the windows server actions security modify im role just refresh it once and here is our role and save now the role is attached now we need to go to connect rdb client rdb is remote desktop and here we having the username and password click on get password now here we require the pem file which we made while creating our instance launching our instance i mean here we'll be click on, clicking on decrypt password and here is the password just copy it now we will go to rdp so this is by default installed in your system here we require the ip address so this is nothing but the public ip address of your instance here it is public ip address copy it we'll just paste it over here connect now we require the password okay yes and we are in that's it we are into a windows server now we will just check over here whether it is done or not Here are you to services. Now here we can find AWS SSM agent. Yes, here it is. Prior to doing this, we'll just go and check whether the SSM is working or not. Connect. It is not working. So we will go here and just restart it once. it will take few seconds and yes it is running now so we can stop all this again go to our instance refresh and click on connect and yes it is working see now this is how you can install ssm for your windows server earlier i have showed you how to install ssm for your linux server so that's it for this video and also don't forget to follow me on linkedin i have attached the link in my description Thank you.